Welcome back to another Clipped tutorial. My name is Jasper, the CTO here at Clipped, and what we're going to be doing today is running through how to connect GPT-4 and other models to your bubble application. So as you can see, we've got a clear application here starting off fresh, and what we're going to do is we're going to come across into plugins, and then what we're going to do is click add plugins, and then you're going to see right here the API connector. So this is going to allow us to connect to other APIs. It is free and you can use it. As you can see, I already had one here before for one it was set up previously. I will delete all this though, and we can start fresh. So delete that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add a name for it. So you'll put open AI, and that'll be the name of this API. And then we're going to go add another call, and a new thing's going to pop up here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come across to the API references. And that's where you're going to see this. Now, you can Google this by Googling uh, OpenAI chat um, reference, and this will pop up. Uh, or you can just go to the description, and I'll have a link there for you. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click right here and go copy. And then you're going to come back to your application, and you're going to see just down the bottom here where it says import another call from CURL. Click that. You're going to paste it in there, and then go import, and it does it itself. Let's get rid of that one we created before. Now that we've got our new call with everything set up, we can change the name here and we'll call this chat completion. Nice and easy. We're gonna change use as from data to action so that we can use this as an action throughout our application. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide private. Uh, well, sorry, we're gonna make these two private as the end user doesn't need to see it. And then what we've got here is the um, your API key that you'll need to add in. That's the API key you have from OpenAI. And then down here is the actual uh, JSON body that it sends, so the uh, information. So as you can see, the model right now is GPT-4.0. Uh, we've got a system prompt and a user prompt. So the system prompt is for the telling the system what it is and what it should do. And the user prompt is for what you're sending the information to. Now to make this GPT-4, what we're going to do is here's another page and it's called models. And what this does is it has a list of all the available models that you can use and all the different types. So let's say right now instead of using GPT-4.0 you wanted to use GPT-4, you could just come across and you'll see we've got all the different GPT-4 models. So maybe you wanted to use the GPT-4 Turbo. So what you'd do is you'd copy this model ID and you'd come back to your application you would then paste it in here and change the model that you're using. And then what we're also going to do though is so we can use custom content, we're going to add in these little bits here. So we're going to call this system prompt because as you can see you can use dynamic values by adding it in between and we'll do one for the user as well. We'll go user oh, prompt and then we tap out and then they pop up and then what we'll do is we'll call this you are an assistant and then for this one we will say hi and then we're going to make them not private as we're going to want to use it throughout our application so we need access to it all right now that looks about right so what we're going to need to do is add an api key so let me just put that in there go and then we'll give this a test there you go so as you can see it's all come back so it's working you can also go show raw and it will show the raw details here so all is good so let's give that a save and then what we're going to do is now that we've got access to it we'll come across to our page our blank page here we're going to add a new state and we're going to call this response and we'll call it text and what we're going to do is we're going to use that to put the response here so we can access it throughout our application. And then what we'll do is we'll put a input. We will also we will also put a button. So let's come back up to the top. We'll put down another input. Now let's call this one here user prompt. We'll put it here in the placeholder user prompt. So that's the prompt that you'll use for the user. And then here we're going to have response. Um, yeah, so that's just going to be the response. And then we've got a placeholder text. 
and then we're going to have our button actually you know for the response we also want to go initial content and we wanted to have the content that's in the response in the index that we set up before so it goes indexes response so that's where we'll get its content from now we come to the button and we're going to call this send put it in there and let's go add workflow and then we're going to come across to our plugins and you'll see Ape open ai chat completion i'm going to click that and we see we've already got it there but what we're going to do is we'll leave the system prompt as it is but we'll change the user prompt and we're going to put input and then we we'll see user prompt we we'll put it as value and then what we're also going to do is want to set it as json safe so that's so that it adds uh, makes it all safe to send across in the json response uh, so the json body of the code that we're sending through the open ai api um, so make sure we've got that there so that's all safe and then what we're going to do is we're going to go elements set state and we're going to change that index and we're going to set it to response and we're going to get it from the first step there we're going to go choices we're then going to go first item we're then going to go message content there you go and then we're going to come back and then we can see we've got everything set up so we're going to go preview oh let this refresh there we go and let's say we can go um, hello we'll say send and we've got our response hello how can I assist you today so we can try something else and it goes what is your name let's see what it says I don't have a personal name but you can call me as yeah, assistant what a nice name so as you can see just like that we've already connected up GPT-4 uh, you could connect up any of these models to it so uh, you can change them you can use the use use the new GPT-4 O as well or the mini and it's a quick easy way to set up um, open AI, AI with your application. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. If you want um, help with your application, also don't hesitate to go to our website and get in touch as we do bubble development and AI development. Thanks for watching the video and look forward to seeing you in the next one.